Hello everyone, earlier I did a review on the Nordatrack S22i Studio Cycle seat. My seat keeps sliding down whenever I get on it, you know, although the bike is rated at 350 pounds, so I weigh 215, and if you saw in the earlier video, you saw when I sat on the bike, the seat just went down. But what I've done in the meantime, I contacted a Nordatrack warranty office. I sent them a, a copy of the video, they watched the video, and what they did, they sent me some new parts out. And so what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be installing these parts and then we're going to see together whether or not this actually fixed the problem. I'm a little skeptical. The stuff looks exactly the same as the stuff I have on it currently. I don't see any difference. So, um, but like I said, I'm going to walk you through the repair and then we're going to see if this thing is going to work or not. I'm not sure yeah, exactly. I'm a little skeptical. And if I was uh, to have to say, I don't think it's going to work, but we're, we're going to see. Okay. This here is the S22i Studio Cycle. And when I sent the video to the, the, uh, the warranty office, they said it was part here is the one that was causing the problems. So, uh, they then sent some extra parts in this bag right here. And we're going to see, you know, what they sent. Okay. Here are the packing instructions. It says here that um, there are actually three parts. There's a knob, round assembly or R&D assembly, that's here. And a curve knot insert. Uh, let's see this part right here. Here's, here's a knob. And some screws. Um, there are no screws. So, uh, <laughs> we're already, uh, off to a start that's not the greatest. So, we're gonna see what happens. Okay, what I'm gonna do first is I'm, I'm going to, uh, remove this, this knob here. And this is the rod that the knob that helps, uh, keeps the tension in the, against the C pulse. So, it won't slide down. So, I'm gonna take this off. I'm going to go ahead and take the seat out. And this is pretty much, you know, what, what it looks like here. Okay, we have two Phillip head screw holes here. And I'm going to take these out and take this knob off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take these uh, screws out. Looks like you can either use a Phillips or either a uh, flathead screwdriver to uh, to get this out. Oh, one screw. And two screws. And here's the new part I'm gonna put on. I mean, I have no choice but to use old screws because uh, they didn't send any new screws with this. So. Okay, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put the C pulse in. And so I guess I can. This is a new knot. Get that twisted in a little bit. Let's get my C pulse in. Let's see. I'm going to put it at 27 and a half inches. This thing screwed in and see if this thing makes a difference. Alright. 
okay, next we're going to test it. It's going to sit on this thing, put my full weight on it, and we're going to see if it moves. If it does, does it? Hey, <laughs> I guess it fixed it, but we'll see. So far, it seems to be holding my weight. Just no problem. I mean, it, it, I mean, so far it looks like it solved it. But let me do one other thing. See how I weigh 215. Let me make myself a little bit heavier and we'll see what happens. And get some 25 pounders. See what 50 more pounds of weight would do. Okay, here we go. This is 50 pounds. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so seems to be holding just fine. So, uh, okay. That's surprising. I didn't think it was going to work. And there we have it. It looks like it solved the problem. Uh, I put my full weight on it. You see, I grabbed some 50 pound uh, weight. So it was like you know, 260, 265 pounds. Uh, held it no problem. So I'm quite surprised that just that small change would actually uh, fix this problem, but it did. And now if we can get in, get back to riding this bike again. It was a very pleasant experience riding it when it actually did work. Uh, it's been down for like a month now, so that's unfortunate. So I lost a little bit of exercise and time. But now I'm going to get back to it and, you know, do some really extensive reviews on there, some other little small issues with the bike uh, that I would like to see fixed. Uh, that was one of them. Looks like that's fixed. Well, we'll see how long this is actually going to hold. Uh, hopefully it, it lasts for, uh, you know, for a good, good, you know, maybe three or four years, hopefully. So without needing to be replaced again, but. Uh, thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time and, uh, and I'll be looking forward to more reviews we're going to be doing later on this bike and other equipment in the, in this gym.